He is known for being called the father of the hydrogen bomb and for his contributions to the Telluland design. He is recognized for his significant advancements in nuclear and molecular physics, as well as his influential work on the development of the Monte Carlo method. His name is Edward Teller. In the annals of scientific history, one name stands out, Edward Teller, a Hungarian-American theoretical physicist known as the father of the hydrogen bomb. Born in Hungary in 1908, Teller emigrated to the United States in the 1930s, joining the ranks of the brilliant Hungarian scientist emigres known as the Martians. Teller's scientific prowess was unmatched, making significant contributions to nuclear and molecular physics, spectroscopy, and surface physics. His work on the game of Teller transitions and the John Teller effect revolutionized the fields of physics and chemistry, while his contributions to the Thomas Fermi theory laid the foundation for density functional theory. Teller's involvement in the Manhattan Project solidified his place in scientific history. As a key member of the project, he played a crucial role in the development of the first atomic bomb. While his efforts to develop fusion-based weapons were postponed until after World War II, Teller's brilliance knew no bounds. He co-founded the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory and served as its director for many years. However, his controversial testimony against J. Robert Oppenheimer during the Oppenheimer security hearing led to his ostracization from much of the scientific community. Despite the backlash, Teller found support from the U.S. government and military research establishment. He became a staunch advocate for nuclear energy development, a strong nuclear arsenal, and a vigorous nuclear testing program. His bold ideas, such as Project Chariot, a plan to create an artificial harbor in Alaska using thermonuclear explosives, and Ronald Reagan's strategic defense initiative, garnered both praise and criticism. Teller's contributions were recognized with numerous awards, including the prestigious Enrico Fermi Award and Albert Einstein Award. He passed away on September 9, 2003, leaving behind a legacy of scientific brilliance and controversial advocacy. In 1942, Edward Teller found himself attending Robert Oppenheimer's summer planning seminar at the University of California, Berkeley. This seminar marked the beginning of the Manhattan Project, the Allied effort to develop the first nuclear weapons. Teller had recently discussed the possibilities of atomic warfare with his colleague Enrico Fermi, who casually mentioned the idea of a weapon based on nuclear fusion. Although Teller initially dismissed the idea, he couldn't help but be intrigued by the concept of a super weapon, which would later be known as a hydrogen bomb. As the uranium research was being coordinated by Arthur Compton, Teller was initially left behind due to concerns about his relatives in enemy countries. However, in early 1943, the Los Alamos Laboratory was established in New Mexico with Oppenheimer as its director. Teller joined the laboratory in March 1943, much to the annoyance of his neighbors who were disturbed by his late-night piano playing. At the Los Alamos Laboratory, Teller became part of the theoretical division and was given the secret identity of Ed Tilden. Although he was disappointed at not being appointed as the head of the division, he was tasked by Oppenheimer to explore unconventional approaches to building fission weapons. Teller also continued to push for the development of a fusion weapon, despite it being given a low priority during the war. However, calculations by Maria Gapert Meyer confirmed that Teller's superweapon was not feasible. In March 1944, Teller was placed in charge of a special group investigating the mathematics of an implosion-type nuclear weapon. Despite his continued interest in the super, Teller made valuable contributions to the implosion mechanism and proposed the solid pit design that ultimately proved successful. He even had the opportunity to witness the Trinity nuclear test in July 1945, defying orders to lie on the ground with backs turned. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.